In the near future, mysterious monsters appear all over the world and start killing humans until only a few survivors are left. These creatures have tough armor and are blind, so they follow sounds to hunt their prey. On day 89, the Abbott family goes to town to get supplies from a supermarket. They move carefully and don't speak, instead they communicate through American Sign Language or ASL which they know because the daughter Regan is deaf. The youngest son Bo reaches for a toy shuttle on a shelf and can barely grasp it, causing it to fall. Thankfully Regan catches it right before it can make noise. Meanwhile the father Lee grabs some items that'll hopefully boost the signals on their radio. When they're about to leave, Bo brings the toy shuttle. However Lee takes it away and removes the batteries, explaining they can't bring it because it's too loud. Once Lee, his wife Evelyn, and the last sibling Marcus are out of the store, Regan gives Bo the shuttle back, and Bo secretly takes the batteries. The family starts making their way to their home by walking barefooted on trails of sand they've prepared for supply runs. When they're crossing a bridge, Bo inserts the batteries into the toy and turns it on, causing a lot of noise. This attracts the monsters and by the time Lee reacts it's too late, Bo is already dead. By day 472, Evelyn is 9 months pregnant. She'll be giving birth soon so she regularly checks her own vitals and listens to the baby's heartbeat. Marcus and Regan plaster the walls of the baby's room with newspaper to soundproof it. In the farmhouse basement, Lee monitors the family through a surveillance system. He's got notes of the creature's abilities and lots of newspapers on the subject, but he hasn't found how to defeat them yet. Every day he uses the radio to send SOS signals to no avail, and every night he sets a fire on top of the silo. The residents in the distant farms always return the gesture. For meals, Evelyn cooks inside a hole in the floor and dine without using any utensils. The tokens in the children's board game have also been replaced by pieces made of cloth. One evening, Marcus accidentally knocks over the oil lamp and causes a small fire. Lee immediately rushes to put it down, but the crashing sound may have attracted a creature. A sound outside makes Lee take a peek and fortunately, it's just a couple of raccoons. The little guys run away and are killed by the monsters outside the farm. Afterward Lee works on amplifying a hearing aid for Regan with pieces from a radio. Evelyn interrupts him and they share a sweet moment by dancing while listening to music on earbuds. On day 473, Regan walks through the house by stepping on the green paint marks not to cause any creaks. When she's about to enter the basement, Lee takes her away and reminds her the basement is off-limits. Then he gives her the hearing air he modified, but she doesn't want it because they never work. Moments later Evelyn is teaching Marcus math but they're interrupted by Lee, who wants to take Marcus on a hunting lesson. Regan wants to go too, but Lee doesn't let her because it's too dangerous for her condition. Devastated, Regan goes to her room and finds the hearing aid Lee made. She tries it on but it doesn't work. Then she packs a bag and leaves the house to visit Bo's grave on the bridge. Regan takes the shuttle out, snips the wires that cause the noise, and places it at the memorial. At the river, Lee retrieves a fish from the net he's installed. When he puts it down on a rock, the fish flaps around and Marcus gets scared, but Lee stops him from running. He explains that the loud noises of the river cover up the smaller sounds. Then they go to the waterfall and Lee teaches Marcus that they can scream there with no danger. Once they have enough fish, Lee and Marcus make their way home and come across a woman's body in the woods. There's an old guy standing nearby and Lee makes a gesture to ask for silence, but the guy can't deal with his grief and screams. Lee immediately picks Marcus up and runs to hide behind a tree, where they keep quiet while a monster arrives and kills the man. In the farmhouse, Evelyn goes upstairs with a bag of laundry, which gets caught on a nail. She pulls until she gets the bag free, not noticing that she's exposed a sharp nail. Moments later, she's shocked to discover her water has broken early. She rushes to the basement and accidentally steps on the nail, causing her to drop a glass picture frame. Managing not to scream, Evelyn makes sure to turn the red lights outside while noticing there's already a monster upstairs. The lights are seen in the distance by Lee and Marcus, who begin to run to the farm. After setting up a timer, Evelyn hides behind a wall and covers her mouth as a monster enters the basement. Suddenly the timer goes off and while the creature jumps on it, Evelyn rushes upstairs only to find another creature. She runs to the first floor and gets in the bathtub, struggling with her contractions while the beasts search the house. Outside, Lee tells Marcus to create a distraction. Marcus sets off some fireworks in the field, causing some loud explosions that cover Evelyn's screams as she gives birth to her baby. Regan sees the fireworks from the bridge and starts making her way home while Lee finds his shotgun and enters the house. Following the trail of blood, he enters the bathroom and panics when he sees the tub empty. However Evelyn is hiding in the shower with a healthy baby boy. Then Lee takes Evelyn and the baby to the barn where they prepared the special room. He closes the hole right before the monster could find them and when the baby starts to cry, Lee puts an oxygen mask on his face and places him inside a wooden crate, where his cries are muffled. Once Evelyn wakes up, Lee leaves her with the baby and goes out to find his other kids, unaware the monsters broke some water pipes. In the field, Marcus gets scared when he hears some noises and begins running, only to knock himself out from running into a tractor. Soon Regan arrives and stops when she sees the light of Marcus' flashlight. 
A monster tries to approach her from behind, but Regan's hearing aid produces a high-pitched frequency that scares the creature off while also hurting Regan's ears. Afterward Regan follows the light and finds Marcus. The siblings hug before climbing on the silo, where they start a fire to get Lee's attention. Unfortunately they run out of lighter fluid and the fire dies. In the barn, Evelyn finally notices the water because it's flooding the room. The baby's crate is floating and there's a monster standing nearby. As the creature dives in, Evelyn very carefully reaches into the crate and retrieves her baby at the same time the creature resurfaces an inch away. Then she slowly backs away and hides in a corner behind some falling water. In the meantime, the siblings argue over what to do. Marcus accidentally falls through a hatch into the grain-filled silo, and the broken door lands near him. At the same time Lee finds Marcus things and climbs on the tractor, seeing his kids but some monsters moving towards the silo. When Marcus begins to sink into the grain, Regan jumps in too and pushes the door for him to climb on. Now Marcus is safe but the one sinking is Regan, so Marcus reaches for her and pulls her out. At that moment a monster gets inside the silo and the kids use the door as a shield. Once again, Regan's hearing aid reacts and its pitch scares the beast away, leaving a hole in the wall. Lee soon reaches the silo and his flashlight is a sign for the kids to come out. They can hear a monster nearby, so Lee makes the kids hide in the truck while he grabs an axe. Suddenly a creature hits Lee and knocks him down, causing Marcus to scream. Regan's hearing aid starts getting noisy again and it's so painful that she turns it off, but this allows the beast to jump on the truck. A barely alive Lee manages to stand up and signs I love you for the kids before he screams. The monster immediately goes to him and kills him, allowing Marcus to drive the truck back to the house and reunite with their mom. Hearing more creatures coming, Evelyn takes Regan and Marcus to the basement. Regan looks at Lee's notes on the creatures and finds all his experimentation with different implants. At that moment a monster enters the basement and Regan notices its presence messes with the security screens. As the beast starts trashing the place, Regan turns on his hearing aid and the monster starts wriggling in pain. Then she puts the aid on the microphone, magnifying the pitch until the beast collapses. Soon it attacks again, but it's weak and disoriented, meaning it's exposing the flesh under its armor. This allows Evelyn to shoot it and kill it. A flashback then shows what happened on day one. The Abbott family goes to support Marcus during his baseball game and meet their neighbor Emmett. He wants to support the family too so they teach him how to say dive in an ASL. Suddenly an unidentifiable object falls from the sky and crashes on earth. Everyone in town rushes to get home and the Abbots split in two separate cars. A monster appears and sends a police car flying, causing chaos and fear to take over the streets. A second monster cracks Evelyn's car window so she drives away as fast as possible, only to find the street blocked by an incoming bus with a monster on it. Evelyn puts the car in reverse and ends up crashing. Regan sees this and wants to rescue her family, however there's a monster coming so Lee drags her inside a store. Lots of people are hiding there and Lee has to silence a man praying. It looks like the creature outside will walk away, but unfortunately someone's phone rings and the beast bursts in through the window to start killing people. Lee and Regan run away through the back door, and the monster chases after them. When they reach the street where the others are hiding, a cop starts shooting at the creature. The bullets do nothing, but it's enough of a distraction for the family to reunite and escape together. In the present, it's now morning of day 474. The family leaves the house and finds the barn on fire, but Evelyn still heads in to retrieve the crate and the oxygen tank. Meanwhile Regan goes back to the basement, where she grabs a large speaker that she can use to amplify the pitch of her hearing aid. She also grabs Lee's map with the last known locations of survivors. Then she climbs on the silo and lights a fire, but only one flame answers back. The Abbots decide to go beyond the sand path to look for help at the flame spot. After many hours of walking, they make it to a rail yard, where someone is watching them from the shadows. Evelyn accidentally steps on a booby trap that causes some bottles to cling so the family starts running away. Unfortunately Marcus steps in a bear trap and screams in terrible pain. Evelyn tries to calm him down, but the baby also starts crying. Regan places him in the crate with the oxygen mask while Evelyn opens the bear trap, causing Marcus to scream again. At that moment they see a creature coming toward them, thankfully Regan reacts fast and turns on the speaker. The pitch from her hearing aid puts the monster through unbearable pain and exposes its flesh, allowing Evelyn to shoot it dead. Afterward the family runs into a warehouse, where they're startled by Emmett. A creature comes inside too and starts chasing after them, thus Emmett runs with the family and guides them to a basement. There's a soundproof bunker where they can hide, but the air is limited so Emmett uses a timer to know how long they can stay there. He tries to tell the family they can't stay because he doesn't have enough supplies, so Evelyn shows him the baby in the crate to change his mind. When the timer goes off, the family comes out and confirms the monster is gone. Marcus is put back in the bunker so he can scream while Evelyn pours alcohol on his wound to disinfect it. Regan finds Emmett's drawings and learns all his family is dead. After Marcus falls asleep with the headphones on, Evelyn asks Emmett if he knew it was Lee when he saw the flame every night. Emmett admits that he knew, but he didn't join them because all survivors have become savages. 
Suddenly Marcus starts hearing Beyond the Sea playing on the radio, which Regan finds weird because Lee's equipment never picked it up. Emmett explains he's been hearing it for the last four months and he didn't pick it at his home either, it can only be heard from the valley. Regan believes it's a sign but Emmett insists there's nothing left out there and wants them gone in the morning. After the adults falls asleep, Regan wakes Marcus up and shares her theory. Using Lee's notes, she figured out the signal comes from an island. She thinks the song it's a message from a community of survivors and she plans to go out to find them. Marcus says it's a bad idea but Regan doesn't listen. In the morning, Marcus wakes up to find a message on the radio that says keep listening. He immediately informs Evelyn, who in turn begs Emmett to go after her. Meanwhile Regan follows the tracks to a station, where she finds an abandoned train filled with bodies and holes made by the monsters. She makes her way to the front and pushes a door just enough to retrieve a first aid kit. Suddenly she gets startled by some movement, but it's just a falling body. Unfortunately she makes some noise and attracts a creature that comes after her, so Regan steps back and turns on the speaker to weaken it. The creature shakes in pain and Regan tries to shoot it, but the bullet only grazes its face. When the beast is about to jump on her, Emmett shows up and shoots it dead. Afterward the duo runs to hide inside the station until the creatures leave. Emmett tries to convince Regan to come back, but she refuses and instead convinces him to help her. A few hours later, Regan wakes up and panics because all her things are missing, thinking Emmett tricked her. However he soon comes back and announces he's found a boat. Meanwhile Evelyn notices the tank is running out of air, not to mention Marcus needs medicine. She asks him to stay with the baby while she goes out to the pharmacy, promising to come back soon. On her way to town, Evelyn crosses the bridge and leaves her wedding ring on Beau's grave. Eventually she makes it to the pharmacy and is able to gather medicine plus two oxygen tanks without any problems. Back to Marcus, he takes care of the baby for a while but gets bored and puts him in the crate with the oxygen tank. Then he leaves the basement to investigate the building and finds where Emmett sleeps. He also looks behind the curtain and finds the body of Emmett's wife, which causes him to step back in fear and knock over some noisy equipment. Hearing the creatures coming, Marcus rushes back into the basement and enters the bunker with the baby, accidentally locking the door. The creature begins breaking through the basement entrance and makes it inside while Marcus realizes they're running out of air, so he begins sharing the oxygen mask with the baby. At that moment, Evelyn comes back and hears the noises, so she fires a bullet to get the monster's attention. Once the creature comes out, Evelyn shoots one of the tanks and sets the beast on fire, but it doesn't kill it. The flames cause the sprinklers to activate and the noise distracts the monster, allowing Evelyn to walk past it and return to the basement. She rushes to open the bunker and finds Marcus unconscious, so she quickly wakes him up and replaces the oxygen tank. Then she closes the bunker door without locking it to wait for the beast to leave. After crossing a bridge, Regan and Emmett reach a pier. As they approach a boat, they hear a noise and discover a little girl crouched on the deck. Emmett comes closer and the girl suddenly throws a noose around his neck while a group of creepy guys come out of hiding. The men take interest in Regan, ripping off her shirt and removing her implant. Approving what they see, they begin taking her back to their boat. Emmett remembers the baseball game and signs the words dive and before attacking the guy with the net attached to the noose. As Regan jumps away, the man drops his lamp and it breaks, starting a fire on the deck and making noise for two monsters to find them. While everyone runs away in fear, Emmett ties the guy to a post and stabs his leg to leave him as monster bait. Then he jumps into the water, however the rope keeps him from swimming away. When the monster finally kills the man, Emmett is finally free. A creature comes after him, however it can't swim and ends up drowning while the other monster stands on a ship, not knowing what to do. Regan soon shows up in a boat and rescues Emmett, who reveals the hearing aid hiding inside his mouth. Moments later, Regan and Emmett reach an island and find a community of survivors living in peace. These people have been here from the beginning, they escaped on boats when they heard the sirens on the day of the incident. After a warm dinner, Emmett goes for a walk on the beach and stares at a drawing of his wife. Suddenly he hears a loud crashing sound and follows it to the edge of the shore, where he finds a ship with claw marks on its side. Emmett rushes back to the survivors to warn them, but it's too late. The monster arrives and starts killing people while everyone tries to run and hide. As Emmett runs toward a house, he picks up a kid and helps him hide inside. An island man also hides his child, then he, Regan, and Emmett get in a car to drive away as they blow the horn, hoping to guide the monster away from their little town. The beast lands on top of the car and tears a hole in the hood before the speed causes it to fall. Meanwhile Evelyn, Marcus, and the baby share the single oxygen tank, which is about to get empty. Evelyn exits the bunker to check and while she's picking up the medicine, the monster appears behind her. She runs back to the bunker but before she can close the door, the beast reaches inside and slashes her leg. On the island, the trio reaches the radio station, only for the monster to catch up and capture the island man. Regan and Emmett rush inside and manage to hide as the creature starts bringing down the doors. They wait for it to reach another room and carefully sneak around to get into the equipment office. Regan opens a door and the screech gets the monster's attention, so Emmett tries to block it and gets his leg slashed. 
When Regan sees this, she turns on her hearing aid and puts it on the microphone before activating the broadcast, sending the painful pitch through all the radios. At the same time, Marcus hears the pitch coming from the radio and unplugs the headphones to use it as a shield. He walks forward and forces the beast to step back before he reaches for a gun on the table and kills it with a single shot. In the station, the beast steps back in pain and Regan takes a pipe to crush its head. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.